Hello, I'm Ralph. I'm Paul. And I'm Dr. Jen. And this is Awesome Astronomy on YouTube. If you like what we're doing in this series, please do hit the subscribe button and like the show. And in this video, I'm going to answer one of the big questions. How big is the universe? And because some people only want to know the answer and not go through the details, and that's all right if that's your thing, the quick answer is the universe is 93 billion light years from side to side. That's it. But if you're still here, I'm hoping you want to know more, like how it got to be that big and how big can it get? And to answer these questions, we have to go back to the birth of the universe when it was an infinitely small dot. Or you could even just as accurately say it didn't even exist. Both are unlikely, improbable, inexplicable and probably right. This dot or thing that didn't exist, exploded 13.8 billion years ago in what we call the Big Bang, and expanded so fast that within a trillionth of a second it was as large as the Earth's orbit around the Sun, so a radius of 93 million miles. Within a second of the Big Bang all the laws of nature were set. Space and time came into being, and the universe cooled to the point that much of the energy released had been converted into the building blocks of the universe that we're all made of. Electrons, protons, neutrons and other exotic particles. As Einstein told us in his famous equation E equals mc squared, energy and matter are the same thing, and it's easiest to think of matter as frozen energy, or energy as super hot matter. Now that's overly simplified, but it's also true. And from this first second, the universe continued to expand outward in every direction, and really, it's best not to think about what the universe grew within, because as far as we know or can tell, it didn't grow within anything. The universe is all there is, and nothing exists outside the universe, because there is no matter, energy, or laws of nature outside of the universe. They were created by this universe. Now you may have heard of the multiverse, or multiple, possibly even an infinite number of universes, and other universes may exist. There's certainly some circumstantial hints of other universes, but nothing that can be tested with current technology. So as far as we can say with confidence today, our universe is all there is. And between us, given that the most distant space probe has travelled 0.002 light years out of that 93 billion light years, this universe is definitely enough to explore for now. And if you were wondering, a light year is the distance you can cover in a year if you were travelling at the speed of light. Voyager 1 is a spacecraft launched on a rocket to the outer solar system in 1977. It's now left our solar system and is still only 21 light hours away from Earth after more than 40 years. But going back to the expanding universe since that first second after the Big Bang, when the universe was as big as the Earth's orbit, it's continued expanding for 13.8 billion years so far. So you're probably wondering why it's 93 billion light years across rather than just 13.8 billion light years or less, because we're all told that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, right? And this is down to two factors. One, Every millimetre of that universe that grew enormous in that very first second has been expanding outward. And two, that weird and mysterious repulsive force we call dark energy, which we can't see and we don't fully understand. But about five billion years ago, the universe had expanded enough for dark energy to take hold. And dark energy causes the expansion of space to accelerate rather than slow down, as you'd expect with an explosion. And what's more, the further away you look, the faster things are moving away from us. And as far as we know, that could continue forever accelerating faster and faster beyond the speed of light. And not to fall foul of that nothing travels faster than light buzzkill, it's not technically the stars and planets that are moving away, it's the space between them stretching. It's a bit like driving along a road that's stretching faster than the speed you're driving, so you're actually getting further away from the object you're driving towards. And this translates to about 20,000 stars every second that expand so far away from us that we will never be able to see them again, because the space is stretching away faster than the speed of light, and light can't travel faster than that to reach us. 
In billions of years, space will have expanded so much in every direction that our descendants will only be able to see the closest dozen or so galaxies that are tightly bound gravitationally to our galaxy, rather than the millions of galaxies we can see with telescopes today. Now, could dark energy slow or be overtaken by another force, like gravity, that pulls everything back together? Yeah, possibly. And there are two major competing theories for how the universe will end. It could be a big freeze, where the universe continues expanding indefinitely until the stars run out and everything goes dark and cold forever. Or gravity could dominate dark energy, even though the opposite seems most likely at present, and begin pulling everything back together to a single point in space called the Big Crunch. There's also no reason why the universe couldn't burst into life, expand, compress back down and violently explode back out again, like a puffer fish expanding and contracting forever. So now you know the size and possible fates of the universe. And if you liked this video, Awesome Astronomy is also available twice a month in podcast form. Check out our episodes using the links below. Do remember to subscribe and like the show. Bye Joe, I think I've got it.